Can I give you that Tell Your Friends pick? No, I've lost it now. Chiefs on drums, or join the Killers as lead singer. Oh, that's a tricky question. Well, well I know where I am with drums. Or take my job. I'll take her job. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, would you question. would you go back? Would you go back to the Kai Chiefs on drums? I cannot keep a beat. Okay, I'd go Kai Chiefs on drums then. I think. Yeah. Not because you're standing here, but if I you were. You, I don't know if you can hit my notes. Not all of them. I work on. <laughs> Your performance in the video for the man yeah. was amazing, and you looked fit. <laughs> Do you see yourself doing more acting, a film role, maybe? No, it's funny, is it, making videos when you're starting a band, as you know, it's not, it's not, it's kind of the furthest thing from your mind, at least it was for us, we weren't thinking about it, we were just thinking about the songs, and um, then the videos came after and you put in this uncomfortable situation, and it makes me respect good actors. But did you watch the video back and go, mm, actually, I'm pretty good at that? I do look pretty fit, yeah. <laughs> So your album's called Tell Your Friends. Mm. What's the last thing you texted a friend? Ah. I have to get your phone out. The last thing I texted, well, it's probably something about, about this gig. I got asked on Friday night to play I Bring to Riot with the Killers. <laughs> so about me playing the guitar, I said, cheers. They know you always take your shirt off when playing lead guitar, yeah? And then I said, yeah, and smash everything at the end. Yeah, <laughs> just smash your, your, your stuff. When you first went solo, was your new band a lot more polite to each other than the Killers are to each other? This is a good question. In the early days of the Killers, it was, everything was new, and we were experiencing it together, and we had the camaraderie, and, and we were going into the, you know, us against the world thing. And then you go and you play a thousand gigs, and you're in close proximity to one another, and things change. And so I will say that going solo did feel refreshing because that that feeling of things being new again yeah, yeah. that came back and the, and the and the musicians that I was playing with were experiencing this new yeah. stuff and so it did it did it felt similar to the early days of the killer. How many times a day do you search yourself on Twitter? Sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> I'd like to ask you the same, but I can't because it's not that's on my not, list. That's not on your list. You've had some pretty awesome stage clothes. Yeah. But where do you keep them when you're not on tour? Do you wear them in your normal life? No. Yeah, I have three sons now, and it would be strange to be chasing them around in gold lame and uh, yeah. pink leather and all that stuff. I thought you were going to say, and they're all wearing my no, own stage clothes. No, but I keep, I, I keep them. I've actually resurrected a couple of them. That's good. What's your favorite song on the album and why? Okay, my favorite song on my album is Thank You. It's called Thank You. And it was the first time I ever thought, I'm gonna go solo, baby. Because <laughs> it, it struck a chord. Where, is it the first song on the album? Or? No, it's like second to last. The Killers and the Kaiser Chiefs toured together on the enemy tour in 2005. Mm -hmm. Can you remember the rest of the lineup? Yeah, Block Party. Yeah. Future Heads. Yeah, that's, that's it, that's it. That's it. It was just an exciting tour. Everybody had great songs, and everybody was hungry, and yeah. it was fun. that was a really a fun time. Simple. Liam or Noel? I've got that question for you. Okay. Liam or Noel? Well, I'm currently Liam. Okay. I'm currently Liam. Okay. Do you want to expand on that? Uh, you know, I, I really think, because of Noel's songs on the first few albums, it's especially the first album when I was 17, those songs made me, a, a certain section of me as a person now today is me because of those songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then Liam I don't know, I'm both. Yeah. How about that? I don't have any tattoos, but when I was 18, if I would have had the extra money, I would have gotten an Oasis tattoo. Yeah. I was this that close. Was. And I was going around blaring gas panic um, and driving around the streets of Las Vegas and I was so in. So I don't know that I could choose. All right. Thank you very much. Have Thanks. a great show. You walk that way and I'll walk this way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>